Hello friends. In this video we will learn an interesting topic of geography. The Earth in the Solar System. How wonderful it is to watch the sky in the night. The whole sky is filled with tiny shining objects, some are bright, others dim. Along with these bright objects, you may also see the moon on most of the days. The sun, the moon and all those shining objects are called celestial bodies. Some celestial bodies are very big and hot. They are made up of gases. They have their own heat and light, which they emit in large amounts. These celestial bodies are called stars. Sun is a star. Some group of stars forms the pattern called constellations. One of the most easily recognizable constellation is the Saptrishi. It is a group of seven stars that forms a part of Ursa major constellation. Sapt means seven and Rishi means sages. How did people find direction during night in ancient times? In ancient times, people used to determine directions during the night with the help of stars. The North Star indicates the North direction. It always remains in the same position in the sky. It is also called as the Polar Star. We can locate the position of North Star with the help of Saptrishi. If an imaginary line is drawn joining the pointer stars of Saptrishi and extended further, it will point to the Polar Star. Some celestial bodies do not have their own heat and light. They are lit by the light of the stars. Such bodies are called planets. The earth on which we live is a planet. The word planet comes from the Greek word planetai which means wanderers. The sun, eight planets, satellites and some other celestial bodies form the solar system. We often call it a solar family, with the sun as its head. The sun is in the center of solar system. It is huge and made of extremely hot gases. It provides pulling force that binds the solar system. The Sun is about 150 million kilometer away from Earth. There are eight planets in our solar system. In order of their distance from the Sun, they are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. An easy way to memorize the name of the planets in order of their distance from the sun is My very efficient mother just served us nuts. Planets move around the sun in fixed paths, are called orbits. Mercury is nearest to the Sun. It takes only about 88 days to complete one round along its orbit. Venus is considered as Earth's twin because its size and shape very much similar to that of the Earth. Earth is the third nearest planet to the Sun. In size, it is fifth largest planet. It has air and water, which are essential for our survival. Its two-thirds surface is covered by water, therefore called a blue planet. The moon is the natural satellite of Earth. Its diameter is only one quarter that of the Earth. It appears so big because it is nearer to our planet than other celestial bodies. It is about 384,400 km away from us. It has mountains, plains and depressions on its surface. A satellite is a celestial body that moves around the planets in the same ways as the planets move around the sun. A human-made satellite is an artificial body. It is designed by scientists to gather information about the universe or for communication. It is carried by a rocket and placed in the orbit around the Earth.
satellites are used for many purposes. Among several other applications, they can be used to make star maps and maps of planetary surfaces, and also take pictures of planets they are launched into. Common types include military and civilian Earth observation satellites, communication satellites, navigation satellites, weather satellites, and space telescopes. Apart from the stars, planets and satellites, there are numerous tiny bodies which also move around the Sun. These bodies are called asteroids. They are found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. The small pieces of rocks which move around the Sun are called meteoroids. Sometimes these meteoroids come near to the Earth and tend to drop upon it. Milky Way Galaxy is a cluster of millions of stars. Our solar system is a part of this galaxy. In ancient India, it was imagined to be a river of light flowing in the sky. Thus it was named Akash Ganga. Thanks for watching. Visit our channel now for your better understanding. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel.